Worst game I've ever had? Yeah. A tie. Maybe a pair of socks. A uh, bowling ball. I got a soundtrack to a movie that I never liked. <laughs> We've all heard the horror stories. The bad gifts. The not so tasty candy. And the mistakes. So for Valentine's Day, I thought I'd set out to find what men really want. And I wanted to see what the women really want. Let's do it. Absolutely. Uh at the biggest mall in LA, the Beverly Center, the women were thinking really big. If you could have your dream ideal Valentine's Day, they could do anything for you, get you anything, go. Take me to Paris and buy me jewelry. For oh, because... definitely a four carat emerald cut diamond. What do you think oh, women want? Well, hang on, I think I've got a list. <gasps> oh, see, she wants eyeliner and sparkly ones. She did, she made him a list of what she wants on Valentine's Day. Some aren't so picky. Just take me to a park and for him to make some sandwiches and give me some flowers. Oh, so very romantic. And you hear that? You didn't have to buy her anything. This commercial holiday, you don't have to invest <laughs> any money with her. It's just time. The men, well, are men. I would like my woman to have some lingerie on for the Valentine's Day. You see? That sounds nice. That's a very common that's a good thing. Package. That's a good package. Do you think women prefer sexy or cozy gifts? I think they prefer cozy and but expect sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but men can be softies too. Let's say she's given you a gift, right? She's got a little box, it's all wrapped up, she hands it to you. What's what would you hope is inside? Your number one gift that you would like to receive? The key to her heart. Oh man! He's good. You should write a poem. Thank you. That is talent. With the recession still hurting our wallets, homemade is where the heart is. People are making gifts this year. I'm actually feeling the love that I'm putting into this. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you laughing? I'm not laughing! Look at what we made. A Valentine bowl for my wife, Vanessa. And a coffee mug for my husband, Ty. Ta-da! We are spending less money this year, but one survivor of the bad economy, St. Valentine's very, very good friend, chocolate. We spend $350 million on Valentine's candy. 58 million pounds of it. 58 million pounds. Here it comes. For fun, we went to the epicenter of chocolate, C's Candy Factory. It's where Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance rehearsed that famous scene. You remember it. We had fun reenacting it. Speed it up! For some, though, gifts don't really matter because they say every day is Valentine's Day. It's just nice to be able to be with someone for 40 years yeah. and still say I love you every night when you go to sleep. That's special. Right there. I do. So sweet, that was Rick and Debbie Halpern. We caught them on the way to the airport to New Zealand to celebrate their Valentine's Day and their 40th wedding anniversary. How sweet was that? Very. Boy, that is just great stuff, guys. Thank you very much for bringing that to us. I love seeing the I Love Lucy one more time. Really quickly, what's the most surprising thing you learned? <laughs> Uh, I learned that nine out of ten women that I talk to just want time with their boy. Nothing fancy. Oh, I'm not buying it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> buy that either. Cameron, no <laughs> yeah, way, you right? Idea? No way. You got to get a real girl. I, I heard a trip to Paris. I heard diamonds. I'm not sure, George. Nine okay. out of ten. Thanks a lot.